Hi, I'm the Moss Man, and I am excited to tell you, my wonderful viewers, um, clicking on the title you will have known already, but we have hit a hundred subscribers. Past that, actually. Um, so, we gotta celebrate. And of course, the best way to celebrate is with a burger and fries. All right. What we're gonna do now to uh, celebrate hitting 100 subscribers is, of course, if you've seen the past few videos, uh, you'll know that I've been gathering questions for a 100 subscriber Q&A. Let's go through and answer them. Instagram questions. So, if you don't know, I have an Instagram right here. It's at MossmanTV. Let's take a look. We've got um, ch.whitlock asks, what's your favorite kind of moss? That is a wonderful question. And I'd have to say that my favorite kind of moss is either fern moss or thread moss. With this little terrarium here, you may not be able to tell, but the, the main moss in here is actually fern moss. At the front, there's a little tiny patch of thread moss, which I added in. May also be because they're the most prevalent where I live and they're all over the place so I can get them. But yeah, those are, those are my favorite kinds of mosses. Things Up The Wazoo asks, How long have you wanted to show us all of your moss knowledge and tips? Well, um, if I'm being honest, I just one day was like, you know what, I should make a plant YouTube channel. That sounds like fun. And yeah, I started it in like September and I probably was uh, getting ready to do that for maybe like a month or two beforehand. Underscore Madison uh, Doucet underscore asks, what inspired you to start the Moss Man YouTube channel? Well, the answer is similar. I didn't exactly have a, a specific inspiration. I just kind of, you know, it was like a fun hobby that I wanted to start. And um, yeah. Okay, we've got underscore n uh prosh says uh do you have experience with propagating plants i'd like to get into it but i don't know where to start that is a great question but it does not have a simple answer i do have experience with propagating plants but only very specific plants in very specific ways most of the propagation i have experience with is just cutting pieces off of plants and then sticking that in dirt. Uh, I'll give you an example. We got this fella right here, which um, is basically, I uh, there was a leaf of a snake plant that I got for free, so I chopped it up into a few pieces. And uh, this one is the one that survived, and it's growing roots, which... It's growing roots. I, I think maybe I'll do a video on propagation at some point. Here's some uh, some YouTube questions. Mike D says, uh, do you ever mess up anything in your videos that we don't see? And if so, may we be able to see some behind the scenes slash blooper reels? The way that I record these videos, it's not like a script. I'm not fond of writing. So I, it's, I don't have an exact script to follow and I don't like mess up. And when I'm talking, everything I say all the time is just kind of what's flowing through my noggin at the time that I'm saying it. So the way that I prepare for videos is I, if there's a topic that I don't know anything about, I'll just research it until I can talk about it like I know. So, which means I, there's not a lot of like mistakes. There's not like, oh, I read that line wrong because there's no line to read. What does happen though is I ramble a lot. So editing me goes through and chops out all the unnecessary bits and tries to compress the videos. Usually the videos that you see cover about like half of the footage that I recorded. I'll show you right now some of the clips that I have um, cut out of this video. So, um, okay. Um, the, um, 
and a little while back about a week ago for um, any questions so um, you can uh, um, and I, I didn't think it fit the scene um, I didn't really have a reason um, a hard question for me to answer uh, uh, obviously I still think moss is really cool um, but yeah basically that uh, yeah. I'll just cut that <laughs> Next question comes from, I'm sorry if I, okay, um, Jean-Pierre Polnareff. Do you think about series about succulents and cactuses? Succulents and cactuses are pretty popular plants, so I'm sure that there will be a time when I talk about them in depth. Of course, I'm growing those kinds of things, so I, I, I yeah. There will probably be a video on it in the future. Um, George Oland asks, do you practice the dances at the end or do you just watch them once and wing it? I don't know what you guys think, but personally, uh, I believe that uh, it's funnier when I don't know what I'm doing. The dances at the end are just, um, I put them up on a screen or something. Uh, I'll watch them once and then I'll watch them again. And usually you'll see me watching them like the second or third time. Um, and then I'll just do it. This is on the newest video. George Oland again asks, When will Mossman Energy be available for purchase? If there were ever a time where I sold um, me branded energy drinks, that's, that would be a long ways in the future. It's unlikely to happen. The Funk Monk asks, what is your favorite video you've made so far, or were you expecting to grow this fast? I think one of my favorite videos was my polka dot replanting video, just because with the, the polka dot plant video I did for a school assignment as well. So I had a lot more time to focus on like the editing and the, the primarily the shooting. So I wasn't sitting here stationary and I could move around a little bit more and take cool shots and do my best to do that. Was I expecting to grow this fast? Not really, if I'm being honest. It's, like I said, just kind of a hobby and it continues to be a hobby. Uh, yeah, I certainly wasn't expecting to have a hundred subscribers nearly this quickly. Wayne Harms asks, my Venus flytrap doesn't seem to be growing. That's unfortunate. I think it needs some nutrients, but it isn't big enough to catch insects. Will it survive? Okay, so general plant advice is kind of hard to give when I don't know the, the like situation that the plant is in. But if you're giving it everything else it needs, sometimes what plants do is if you pot them in a pot that's too big, the roots will spend a lot of time growing out and you won't see the upper part of the plant growing. And then all of a sudden, once the roots have kind of stopped and they're, they're at a size that, that's good for that container, then you'll see the, the plant itself start, start to pick up and start growing faster um, because it can focus its nutrients elsewhere. Um, a situation like that with where the roots are growing and the, the, the upper part of the plant isn't growing, um, it's, it's really hard to say though. The Venus flytraps that I have here the ones I, I showed in the video, the trap that I gave the fly to, I don't think was ready for it. So these these traps have not received any nutrients from flies, so really they haven't received any at all. And they seem to be growing perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what could be the problem there, or maybe there isn't a problem there. Will they survive everything? If you're doing everything right, and the only problem is you're not, they don't have flies. I think it's likely that they will survive until they're large enough to eat. Elijah Harms asks, um, when slash how did you become interested in learning about plants? The Bio 11 course. And I, I loved that class. That was one of my favorite science classes to date, um, was Bio 11. And around that time, actually, after taking that class, I started working at a greenhouse. Uh, so it was kind of funny timing. And the greenhouse wasn't because I liked plants. The greenhouse was because it was a good opportunity for me and I, uh, and I took it. Yeah, the combination of the two, like enjoying that and then working with plants all the time, kind of led to me gaining some general knowledge 
but also uh, more so an interest. Genie Genie asks, if you could make three wishes, what would they be? I'm just gonna say infinite money with no inflation, access to as many plants as I want, and the ability to keep a fish tank without growing algae. That concludes the questions. If I didn't get to yours or I didn't, yeah, if I didn't, didn't answer your question, um, I'm sorry, I probably, it, you either posted it after this video came out or I just didn't see it. Um, and I apologize for that. Finally, I'd like to thank Dylan and Elijah for providing the music through this video. This, obviously this channel hasn't grown on its own. Like there's all of you guys out there who are helping me to push this channel forwards. And uh, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes. Like every every video I thank Dylan and Elijah. Some, some, some of my good pals who spend their time making music and recording just so I can have their music quietly under me speaking or or on during time lapses and I really appreciate that they they provide their music for me and that they're willing to do something as cool as that and Elijah specifically outside of music Elijah has provided me with uh, this wonderful microphone here which is just a it's a blessing I, and he has really like he made a post that is the reason that this channel's at 100 subscribers and he's he's constantly say, saying uh, oh yeah i got so and so to watch your video and it's what a guy <laughs> so thank you elijah i'd like to thank chantelle for helping me rearrange my room so i can have this this setup here originally this would not have been possible the way i have it set up chantelle decided to come over and she came up with a plan and we rearranged my room so this is my setup now and i think it's cool i don't know about you guys but i like being able to see this in the video and and these plants in the video as well instead of just my cluttered room and closet all the people who who have been uh, watching all of my videos supporting and liking all of my videos and commenting and liking and commenting my on my instagram posts and just being great people behind the scenes you know who you are thank you for being there and uh and i appreciate it that concludes today's video we hit 100 subscribers and i'm just so incredibly excited to see where we can go from here i'm gonna go find a dance to conclude this video all right don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one